drivetrain is the powerhouse of a wind turbine, containing the generator and gearbox which converts the torque or rotation of the blades into electricity. Most wind turbine drivetrains currently use generators that are connected to gearboxes, which speed up the rotation from the relatively slow speed of the turbine's blades, typically 5 to 15 rotations per minute for a modern machine, to the high speeds 1, 0 to 1, 800 rotations per minute, needed to generate electricity using a high-speed induction generator. Having all of those moving parts makes the gearbox one of the highest maintenance parts of a wind turbine. Wind turbine drivetrain is the heart of a wind turbine, responsible for converting the rotational power of the blades into usable electricity. It's a complex system that consists of several key components, each playing a vital role in the energy conversion process. A wind turbine drive system is the heart of the turbine, converting the slow rotation of the blades into the high-speed rotation needed to generate electricity. It's essentially a gearbox and a generator working together. Here's a breakdown of the two main components. Gearbox multiplies the slow rotation speed of the turbine shaft around 15 to 30 rpm to the much higher speed required by the generator around 1, 0 to 1, 800 rpm. Gearboxes are typically large and complex with multiple stages of gears to achieve the necessary speed increase. They are also one of the most expensive and maintenance intensive components of a wind turbine. Generator converts the mechanical energy from the gearbox into electrical energy. Most wind turbines use induction generators, which are relatively simple and reliable. Permanent magnet generators, PMGs, are becoming increasingly popular as they offer higher efficiency and lower maintenance costs. Together, the gearbox and generator convert the wind's kinetic energy into electrical energy that can be fed into the power grid. Here are some additional details about wind turbine drive systems. Drivetrain size and complexity. The size and complexity of the drivetrain depends on the size and power rating of the wind turbine. Larger turbines typically have more complex drivetrains with multiple gearboxes. Gearless designs. Some wind turbine manufacturers are developing gearless designs that eliminate the need for a gearbox. These designs can be more efficient and reliable but they are also more expensive and complex. Direct drive. In direct drive wind turbines, the generator is directly coupled to the turbine shaft, eliminating the need for a gearbox. This design is only feasible for smaller turbines, as larger generators would be too heavy and slow moving to be efficient.
Heliodex. The Heliodex was the industry's first 14MW offshore wind turbine to operate. It is the only 12 plus MW offshore wind turbine platform that has been operating for over two years. The Heliodex offshore turbine features a 14MW, 13MW or 12MW capacity, 220 meter rotor, a 107 meter blade, and digital capabilities. Having been independently certified at up to 13.6 MW of output and for typhoon conditions, making it the only turbine bankable for customers seeking to finance projects. It also features a 60 to 64% capacity factor above industry standard. Capacity factor compares how much energy was generated against the maximum that could have been produced at continuous full power operation during a specific period of time. efficiency, the combination of a bigger rotor, longer blades and higher capacity factor makes Haliotics less sensitive to wind speed variations, increasing predictability and the ability to generate more power at low wind speeds. One Haliotics 14MW turbine can generate up to 74 GWh of gross annual energy production, saving up to 52,000 metric tons of CO2 which is the equivalent of the emissions generated by 11,000 vehicles asterisk in one year. Digital tools are currently being developed exclusively for the offshore environment with an operations approach that will help customers perform remote diagnostics, improve time management, less time at sea, and optimize operations. The Haliotex can bring higher profitability to customers with significant savings across offshore wind turbine manufacturing, installation cycle times, service and repairs. While the Haliotex wind turbine is well suited for high to medium wind speed environments, its larger capacity can produce energy even at lower wind speeds, increasing profits and dramatically lowering the levelized cost of energy. With fewer machines and offshore wind turbine foundations to install, in addition to reduced cycle times and simplified operation, the Heliodex generates robust savings on overall project cost over the life of a wind farm. Mass production of wind turbines on an industrial scale is not yet a decade old, and few turbine models have operated in large numbers for more than a handful of years. Robust operational data remains a relatively scarce commodity and even expert technicians have been reliant on little more than anecdotal data regarding what component is likely to fail when on which turbine, or how trouble can be averted before it happens. More recently, however, owners, operators and developers have been looking to the cost of running the projects and are recognizing the value in preventing failure instead of running turbines until they break. Two components of the cost of operation and maintenance O and M of wind turbines are vitally important and need to be minimized, those for scheduled maintenance and for unscheduled maintenance. If component failures lead to unscheduled stoppages, then the additional cost of loss of electricity sales is introduced. That is why considerable efforts are being made to control and forecast such failures. At least 62.9% of all failure causes are internal engineering related failure modes, while the remainder are due to external effects, mostly weather related. At least 69.5% of all failure consequences lead to less or no power being produced while the remainder leads to aging in some form. About 82.5% of all maintenance activity is hardware related and thus means that a maintenance crew must travel to the plant in order to fix the problem. This is particularly problematic when the power plant is offshore.
On average, the failure will occur once per year for plants with less than 500 kW, twice per year for plants between 500 and 999 kW, and 3.5 times per year for plants with more than 1 mW of power output. The more power producing capacity a plant has, the more often it will fail. The age of a plant does not lead to a significantly higher failure rate. The more rare the failure mode, the longer the resulting shutdown. A failure will, on average, lead to a shutdown lasting about six days. To minimize downtime and as part of their warranty coverage, wind farm operators adopt both preventative and predictive maintenance. Preventative maintenance is planned maintenance to prolong the lifespan of assets. It can include adjustments, cleaning, lubrication, repairs, and replacements. Predictive maintenance is more sophisticated and uses sensors to monitor the condition of the assets. Maintenance checkups typically take place a few times a year with computerized maintenance management system software, CMMS, used to record when each turbine has been serviced. A CMMS will also automatically send notifications when a maintenance check is due. Predictive maintenance for a wind turbine uses sensors placed on key components. These send valuable data back to the maintenance team to inform of lubrication levels, vibration, temperatures, and foundation displacement. Thank you.